uzi na ni kwamba utafiti wa hivi punde kabisa wa kampuni ya utafiti ya Trends and Insights for Africa TIFA kwa mara nyingine tena imemweka mbele mgombea wa rais wa Azimio One Kenya Raila Odinga mbele ya wapinzani wake kwa umaarufu siku kumi pekee kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu na basi Odinga anamuongoza mpinzani wake wa UDA William Ruto kwa asilimia 46.9 huku Ruto akiwa na umaarufu wa asilimia 44.4 kwa mujibu wa ripoti hiyo mgombea wa Rules Party George Jakoya ni wa tatu kwa umaarufu wa asilimia 1.8 Mkuu wa Higa Maure wa Agano Party akiwa na umaarufu wa asilimia 0.1. Utafiti huo ukibaini kuamba Odinga ana umaarufu mkubwa maeneo ya Nyanza, Magharibi mwa Taifa, Kusini mwa Bonde la Ufa, Nairobi na Kusini mwa Mashariki mwa Taifa. Ruto naye akiwa na ufuasi mkubwa katikati mwa Bonde la Ufa na Mlima Kenya. Kwa mujibu wa Tom Wolf ambaye basi alitangaza utafiti huo kwa niaba ya Tifa Azimio la umoja ndio muungano maarufu nchini na asilimia 47 akisha Kenya kwanza kwa ikiwa ya pili kwa asilimia 42 huku UDA ikiwa chama cha kikiwa basi ni chama chenye maarufu mkubwa nchini na kufuatwa na ODM jubili waipa na kisha chama cha Roots There's no place on the ballot to mention to to mark undecided If you don't vote for the presidential uh, candidate any that vote is taken away from the hesabu so you can see or you can guess you can do with your own calculator if you take away seven percent it pushes both of them much closer to that 50 percent mark but as long as the two other candidates are getting two percent or more if they're very close we're going to have to have a runoff are we predicting that no overall as we saw with the trend that especially since a year ago in June, when Rilo was at his low point, his numbers from both genders have been going up. And they've continued to go up. Um, so that whereas in February, the deputy president was leading, as we showed you a minute ago, um, or no, we'll show you that next. It may be that uh, Odinga's choice of Karua as a running mate is having a very positive impact, not in terms of gender, but in terms of attracting people of both genders for other reasons. Maybe she's seen less as a woman and just more as a politician with a history of performance. When we look at the same uh, change for the um, opposing ticket of Ruto and Gachagua, we can see again, they've also gained 5% since the last survey. And that's simply because uh, the undecideds as we showed, we're decreasing from 26% down to 7 So people are making up their minds, but those undecideds are not dividing themselves disproportionately.